After a few years of gaming on my laptop, I finally made the switch. I'm sick of daydreaming, I just want the feeling of you in my bed. I'm down at this waistline, right below your waistline, want you by my head. I'm doing all this FaceTime, need some alone time, baby. You're always running in my mind. I'm sick of daydreaming, I just want the feeling of you in my bed. Hello everyone and welcome to my first ever PC build of my life. It's crazy to think that I'm building this beast of a PC at this age and especially to even have a chance of buying the new graphics card. Of course, this build wouldn't have been possible with my parents, so thank you mom and dad for letting me use this much money on a piece of machine. Speaking of which, my budget for this build is 2000 USD. Originally, I was going for 1500, but that clearly didn't stick by the time I started my research. Anyhow, for my PC, I am using an i9-10A50K, mainly because the new AMD Ryzen chips are impossible to get a hold of. Needless to say, the 10A50K is still a very good chip and is currently one of the best price to performance chips out there. To cool this heat monster, I am using the NZXT X73 AIO to avoid any chance of overheating. For the RAM, I am using the G-Skill Triton Z Neo 16GB kit for that clean RGB look. They are optimized for AMD, but from my research, it works just as good with an Intel chip. Since I got the i9, I decided to not cheap out on the motherboard and went for the MSI Z490 Gaming Edge Wi-Fi. As the name implies, it has a Wi-Fi card built in and supports Bluetooth for my future wireless accessories. Powering the build, I am using the Corsair RM850 and for the storage, I bought the Western Digital SM550 SSD for boot and Western Digital 2TB hard drive to store my videos. What kind of videos though? For the case, I am using the Fractal Design Meshify 2 as it has a clean and industrial look while also providing a good airflow for the components. Finally, for the graphics card, I managed to pick up the unattainable MSI Gaming X RTX 3070. Long story short, I backordered this 3070 in a local computer store and it came one week after, which is pretty insane. Now that I'm done with the rambling, let's get straight into the build. So I think this is about to be the most nerve-wracking thing. Oh. This is about to be the most scary part though. Oh, I don't like that sound. Got the CPU installed, boys. PC components are really strong. Oh my god. I'm so stupid. I, I put it in the wrong way. I'm so stupid. Thank god it was full force. Now we gotta install the bracket, I think. Jesus, that's a lot of screws. Actually is now installed. Now I think we need to put this in the case. Probably screw this one. Alright, I think we have everything done now. I got the RAM installed, I got the CP installed. The backplate and the standoffs of the CPU cooler installed. 
and have the SSD installed. So now I think all we have to do is place everything into my case. So I'm gonna do that right now. I don't know if I broke my front I.O. It's kind of wobbly. I'm not sure if it's supposed to be like this, but hopefully it still works. I'm a bit scared right now, but we'll see. Damn, there's a little standoff in the middle. It's very useful. It secures the motherboard in place before you actually screw it in. Good job, Fractal. Or should I say, good job me for picking this case. I just spent like 20 minutes trying to figure out what screw to use. And now I'm, I think I know which ones to use. dropping these screws man so annoying make sure to get a magnetic screwdriver when you're building a pc also i feel like it's a lot harder to build this pc with a camera or like a tripod standing right to the left of me i can't really look directly at the motherboard when i'm putting these screws in and it's making it really hard I got everything screwed in. Now let's do the shake test. Uh, looks pretty sturdy to me. I think we can now move on to installing the cooler. You know, the real hard part about PC building isn't actually putting on the RAM or SSD or, or even the CPU. The CPU is actually pretty easy to install. But I think the hardest part is cable management and like plugging the cables in. So I'm gonna install the fans onto the radiator first, then install the radiator on the top portion of the PC. Let's go. Are you kidding me? I think I was supposed to put this little circular thing around the screws. No wonder it was, I feel like I was damaging. My cooler, oh my god dude, I now I have to unscrew everything. Guys, I think I might have damaged it. There are some white spots underneath the black part. I don't know if this is still gonna work. Uh, I'm a bit scared right now. I'm not sure if this thing is still gonna work. There's a little white spot, if you can see that. It doesn't look good to me. All right, fingers crossed that my radiator cell works. Oh, that's, that just gave me so much stress. If this thing doesn't work, oh my god. Yeah. I did it the best I could while I was stuck in this place. Had as much fun as I could when I was stuck in this place.
Alright, I think I got the radiator melted. Now I'm just gonna do some cable management before everything gets messy. Just finished installing the radiator on top now we just gotta install our cooler or pump onto the CPU you know one thing I learned about building a PC is you need a lot of lighting uh, there's too many dark spots that you can't see I recommend to work in a very bright environment otherwise you're just gonna make everything really hard to do If I screw this up, then it's over because I didn't buy a thermal compound. Alright, I'm gonna hope that I installed it correctly. I feel like my backplate wasn't tight enough. I had to push it in, so we'll see. If, if it doesn't work, I'll just have to reapply the thermal paste and the CPU cooler, I guess. But other than that, pretty smooth process. Alright, now for the most intense moment, the GPU installation. God. Alright guys, we are at the final step of finishing up the PC. Uh, I, I did some cable management at the back and I connected every cable. Now I just have to plug in this big 24 pin to the motherboard and I'm done with the build. I just want to mention that you should, if you're planning on building a PC, you should probably get a better cable. The, this cable came with the power supply and it was a pain to work with. It was super hard to like wired the thing throughout the case and same with the CPU uh, cables it was super hard to plug them in so yeah don't cheap out on the cables like I did or you could spend like 30 minutes on trying to get it in all right so without further ado let's put this in and we'll finish the build here we go I think it's in I'm supposed to hear it, so. I think I have it installed now. Alright guys, I finished building it and oh, everything's plugged in and this is the moment of truth and see if my PC works after five hours of work. Let's see. Oh my god. 
Please work. Please work. Gotta turn on my monitor first. Please work. Oh, good sign. Let's go. Okay, the ram's spinning. Ram's working. Front fans are spinning. Oh, this is so worth it. After everything's spinning. Oh. What the hell just happened? Oh. Is it going to going through the boot process? Is what I'm assuming. Oh my god. Let's go. Everything works. Oh my god, dude. I, I you don't even know how happy I am right now. Oh, let's go. Let's go, dude. We gotta take off this sticker. Oh. Oh, yeah. Let's go. Holy crap. That was so stressful. Alright, I'm gonna set up everything first and then we'll do some tests with this PC. Uh, it looks super good in real life. My camera is really bad, but everything looks really good so far. And I'll see you guys then. Alright, and that concludes my 8 hour PC building process. Honestly, this took longer than I thought, but it might have been because of the tripod being in the way. My lighting was also a bit dim for me to see dark areas in the PC case, so plugging in the wires was a pain. Luckily, the Meshify 2 is a very big case and it allowed me to fit my hand through most area. One thing I want to mention for people who also want to build a PC is make sure you don't cheap out on the cables. In my case, the cables that came with the power supply was really hard to bend and sometimes couldn't go to the places that I wanted them to go. If you can, buy a good cable extension for a power supply so you don't have to spend too much time trying to plug in the wires onto the motherboard. Other than that, the process was pretty simple and I really liked how my PC turned out. The performance on this thing is a huge step up from my laptop. Instead of exporting a video with more than an hour, I can now export a 4K video with around 10 minutes. Not to mention, my FPS in Fortnite is now through the roof. It makes me feel like my PC is getting restricted by my 144Hz monitor. I guess at this point, I can't even blame lag if I die. With that said, that has been it for the video. I look forward to my next PC build, and if you're interested, look out on my second channel, Tech Pieces, where I will be doing benchmarks with my new PC. Peace.